Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Vec the Fox, and due to popular demand, sort of, and a vote, I'm going to be playing Undertale. So, let's see if my voice can't crack and break and sound absolutely god awful, huh? Let's see here. Mm, I've already played this game, so I already know your name is Frisk, but hey, let's do this how I do this. Yeah. Yeah, that's my name. It's dark, I'm scared. Not really. Don't trust his lies. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go! See that heart? That's your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you gain lots of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass an opportunity like this? Die. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Yes, Goat Mom. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. He's be fully restored. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles, ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them from, to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay. Oh. Beep. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones you will need to flip. You're so nice. Oh. Beep. Beep. Hi, dumb! Splendid! I'm proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Are you sure that won't make me seem like, you know, damaged? You encountered the dummy! Uh, you talk to the dummy. Hey, dummy. How you doing? It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! Ah, very good. You are very good. 
Well, yes. Yes, I am. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Froggit attacks you! Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. I got my eye on you. Glower. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Could the animations get any cuter? Well, I know they do, but I'm just saying, it's like, that's a cute animation. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Can I step on them anyway? Oh! <laughs> I flirt with danger! You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Code Mom, no! Come back, Code Mom! Come back! Don't leave me here! That horrible flower might come back and get me. I had, now have completely distrusting of plants and plant life in general. And anything with an overtly smiley face on it. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please, remain here. It's too dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? This is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then, hello. I hope that suffices. <laughs> Aww. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me Mom? Yes, I did, Goat Mom! Goat Mom! Well, I suppose. Would that make you happy? To call me Mother? Well then, call me whatever you like. Yo! Ah, what? Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous for you to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? Sorry, Mom. I'm a rebel. Hey, Froggit. Read it. Read it. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Ribbit. It says, take one. Take a piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Oh dear. Wimson. Hey, Wimson. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Ooh, that one, rough childhood. Good the Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? Mmm, cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. 
Hello, this is Toriel. Y you do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I, I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Hey, Froggit. You're looking good today. Froggit didn't understand, but was flattered anyway. Whoa! Ah! Flies! Fighter flies. Off you go, Froggit. Hello? You do not have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. Legit. Oh god, can I remember how to do this? Ah, oh, fuck. Nope! Think I got this. I got this down pat. I don't have this down pat. Okay, let's see if I can fuck this up again. Just go down here. Go. Do I go up? Uh, fuck! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, move this one here. Oops. Damn it! Don't apologize, Wimson. You did nothing wrong. You're just doing what comes naturally to you. That's one rock. That's two rocks. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? <laughs> okay, just for you, pumpkin. Thanks. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Was that helpful? Yeah. Why you? Hmm? You want me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Aren't things easier when you just ask? Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force. Here comes Napster Bluke. You gave Napster Bluke a patient smile. <laughs> Ow! Napster Bluke looks just a little bit better. You told Napster Bluke a little joke. <laughs> right now. Sorry. Cheering seems to have improved Napster Bluke's mood again. Napster Bluke wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Bluke. Do you like it? Oh gee. I usually don't come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Aw, goodbye, Napster Bluke. You're an awesome guy. Ghost. Thing. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Leave 18G in the web? I don't have 18G. Leave 7G in the web. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Mmm, donut. 